क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन द फिशविक एंटरप्राइज हैज टू हंड्रेड थाउजेंड शेयर आउटस्टैंडिंग हाफ ऑफ विच आर ओन बाई जैनी एंड हाफ बाई हर कजन द टू कजन है न्यू कैश एंड हाफ वुड बी शेयर दैट आर करेंटली हेल्ड बाई जैनी Suppose that the shares are sold at an issue price of fifty dollars, but rise to eighty at the end of the first trading day. Suppose also that the investor would have been prepared to buy the issue at eighty. What percentage of company will Jennifer own after the issue? So uh, we know that the, there were two thousand shares, right? So let's take the help of uh, Excel. Uh, that will be better for calculations. so let's make a few uh, few columns so first we have share holders so who are the share holders first we have jenny then we have cousin then we have some new investors okay so then we have their share holdings so jenny uh, before the issuance of new shares there were uh, 2000 shares so half of which belong to jenny and half to the cousin so now in the new situations what happened the company had issued uh, New shares. Uh, company sh sold one hundred thousand shares, half of which are new, and half were sold by the Jenny. So Jenny had a one hundred thousand shares before, and from these one hundred thousand shares, she sold uh, fifty thousand shares. Now Jenny had fifty thousand shares, and cousin has. Uh, one hundred thousand shares and new investor also had one hundred thousand shares. So let's make the total as we did before to calculate the percentage share holdings. Uh, so there are total two hundred and fifty thousand shares. Then we can calculate the percentage holding our shares. That will be the Jenny. Number of shares held by Jenny divided by total number of shares. So this will be twenty percent. Then we have this one hundred thousand divided by two fifty. Forty percent and the same. Uh, Will be for for the new investors. So these are the percentage holdings as uh, required in the part part A. So let's check the part B. What will her holding be worth at the end of the first day trade? So we have to calculate the Jenny's worth. At the end of first day. So to calculate the Jenny's worth, we know the Jenny has some stocks. 
Jenny stock. Jenny had um, fifty thousand shares, and each uh, shares uh, will be selling at eighty. Because at the end of the first trading day, the shares uh, will be a price eighty. So what will be total? Fifty thousand multiplied by eighty. So that will be four million. Then uh, Jenny has some cash which she got from the sale of the stocks. So she sold fifty thousand shares and each share's price at fifty. So how much she got from this sale is 2.5 million. So what is her total wealth? So we can just add these two numbers and that will be her total wealth at the end of at the end of the first trading day moving on uh, let's see the part c suppose the issue had been priced at 80 how many shares would the company have needed to sell to raise the same gross proceed from the ipo so first we need to see how many how much money the company actually gathered by selling the shares so cash received from sale of shares uh, so the company sold uh, 550,000 shares at the price of 50 so how much cash they gathered is 50,000, 2.5 million. So now we want to know um, how, what if the share price was 80, a company has sold the shares at 80, then how much money we would need to get these shares. So to calculate this amount, shares needed to sell that will be so we need 2.5 million so we will divide it with the share price and this will give us the new number of shares we will need right so let's use this divided by 80 so the company needed to sell uh, 31,250 new shares to gather the same amount which is 2.5 million so that is our part c moving on what in this case would be jennifer's wealth assume jennifer also need to sell her shares to raise the same cross proceeds from the ipo so we need to calculate the jennifer's wealth again c part Jenny wealth so it's actually the D part so this is C part Jenny's wealth so 
how many shares Jenny have Jenny um, actually Jenny had uh, uh, one 100,000 shares now the Jenny will sell only 31,250 shares so what uh, Jenny's remaining shares will be Sixty-eight thousand seven hundred and fifty. Okay. So shares value will be sixty-eight thousand seven hundred and fifty, and each share will be priced at eighty. Right. So calculating these. We have 68,750 multiplied with the 80. We will have 5.5 uh, million cash from sale of shares. So Jenny sold uh, 31,250 shares, and each shares was sold at 80. So by calculating these numbers, we'll have 2.5 million. So total wealth will be sum of these two. This will be eight million. Now, what is the cost of underpricing to the Jennifer in dollars? So, to calculate the cost of underpricing, we need a small formula. Actually, the cost of underpricing is uh, share price. If we want to write it, uh, so. Share price at the end of first day minus price at which company offered shares. So this will give us uh, this will give us uh, under pricing for one shares so to calculate uh, under pricing for 50,000 shares we need to multiply this amount with 50,000 so the share price at the end of the first day will be 80 and the shares were offered at a price of 50 uh, this will be under pricing of one shares and if we multiply it with the total number of shares uh, Which Jenny sold then we can calculate the total under price so This will be 1.5 million dollars